Good kitten internet. So the audio thing was actually OBS. Um, I re had turned on the uh, soundbar that I have. Yeah, I see it's that's actually accurate now. I turned on the soundbar that I had and noticed that the sound was actually correct. OBS was just lagging on its audio for reasons I don't know. Um. So yeah, let's go continue. I looked up some of the mistranslations. Um, Al Hazred, not Al Hazad. Um, it's a Lovecraftian reference that was in the second opening. Anyway, let's go Cecilia things up. So, one of the things I want to do, which I will in fact be reloading a couple times. So yeah, that was a teardrop door. Every dungeon is a puzzle dungeon. But there's also battles here. So. Oh, I should fuse that ahead of time. So you can see that Cecilia's magic attack, which, bonk, throw a book in your face. Oh, counterattack for 11. Fire! Which, that flash indicates that they are weak against it. Books are weak against fire. Who would have guessed is 88. So, oh, um, something I didn't explain because it never actually came up. This is force. Every character has four force abilities. Everybody's second force ability is actually the same, but uh, Cecilia has Mystic, which allows you to bring out the power in certain items. So, Mystic Healberry, normally Healberry recovers 200 hit points, a Mystic version of it has the entire party recover 200. Uh, Mystic Light Shroom, if I remember right, causes Flash? I'm gonna be reloading anyway. No, no, that's right, no. Mystic Light Shroom just hits everybody for curing that. Anyway, what I want to do... Normal attack for 11. Yeah, Cecilia actually has a somewhat dangerous... Um, opening area. And that's fine. I'm going to be reloading. Because I'm doing some science here. Cecilia also has multiple poses for her um, finishing combat. You'll see in a moment. So. I would never do this in reality. I'm just doing this for science. So the next time I encounter a book, which should be soon... Magic carrot. Magic carrots uh, increase MP. You also can't buy them until much later in the game. So, I messed that puzzle up because I need something to throw. Now, I can do that again. See, that's the power of the stopwatch. Oh, come on. Three books act as a door. They are called the Books of Doors. The key is the flame. Open the door and light the path. It's a book called, entitled Commandment 1. Do you want to read it? Knowledge can be used as a guide or an obstacle, depending on how you handle it. Knowledge has true power when it is needed. Sometimes, though, it is more important to act on intuition. Too much knowledge can blind the viewer. There's never a moment when this should be forgotten. Guardians, Elwu, and humans fought together to protect Filgaia. Of the Guardians, the Guardian of Desire sided with the demons. The shadow of a black wolf, the Guardian of Desire, disappeared with the demon race. 
The life of Philgai have been sustained by linking the weakened guardians together through a pipeline called the... This is a mistranslation. Leyline. Not Rayline. Leyline. This was a last-ditch effort by of the weakened guardians to support Philgaia to this day. Together, the humans and the Elwu were finally able to defeat the Demon Queen. The Queen's heart was forever sealed into three separate guardian statues. All of this is very useful information, by the way. Soon after the war with the Demon Race, the Elwus disappeared from Philgaia. They used what powers they had remaining and moved an island still teeming with life to another dimension. Their destination is known as the Elwu Dimension. At the bloodiest point in the war, one Elwu forged a sword of ultimate power. The sword had the ability to channel the Guardian's power through its blade. There is no record of the sword being used in battle, but it was about that time that the demons withdrew from the war. There is no doubt that the Guardian Blade was a major factor in the war. The Enigma ah, Enigmatic Elwu Race Much of the Elwu magic was truly astonishing. They specialized in magic related to biology. One of their technologies converted life force to energy for transport to other, er, other locations. They had teleportation magic. Uh, not really magic. They had teleportation science. Books? Yes. Alright. So that was 11 damage before. I want to see how much damage I do now. 13. Alright. So one strength does not indicate one point of damage. Interesting. I keep forgetting I can't wrap around. So we're going to load. It's not going to take me very long to get back to where we are. Especially since load times aren't actually that long for this game. Which is surprising. This game is a CD-based game, and I am running it off of the real CD. I do actually have this in my PS2, running off the real CD. I probably should have loaded it onto hard drive, but... Eh. Let's go back. And then rush through, and then continue. Probably should redo this frame and move my picture down below. I think the duplicator doors look different. I think they might have orange to them. It's been a, such a long time since I've played. So, let's see. Um, as I'd mentioned, Cecilia kind of represents what other people saw me as at the time. So, being 14 years old, I was generally considered one of those, you know, innocent brainiacs, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. Okay. Bum, bum, ba -da -da. Uh, and as a result, everybody always looked to me to knowing something, even if I was quite a bit younger than everybody else. And I was always the quote-unquote leader. Cecilia tends to act as a leader, regardless of whether she is or not. Alright, I've already read through the books, so I'm going to be skipping this. Those books, that is. There's lots of books in here. More carrots. Hint, hint, you're using magic. Since the war with the demons was a thousand years ago, many monsters have been born all over Philgaia. Rago Regala. That's not, it's Ragu O Regala. The king of the beasts sleeps somewhere in Philgaia. That's a hidden boss in the game. Of life. After the Great War, a huge magical machine was built to restore the land from the devastation. The machine was named Yggdrasil, after the tree of, in the legends. Yggdrasil? Yggdrasil, that's correct. The demons discovered the machine and stole the reviving mechanisms. 
Rather than use the mechanism to give birth to a new land, the demon's leader, Mother, used it to give birth to more demons. Is it because humans do not have wings that they constantly strive to reach the heavens? With science seemingly limitless, some people reached for the heavens from a massive tower dedicated to magic. There's a lot of mythology in the Wild Arms games. There was once a guardian who chased the tail of a falling star. He came crashing down to Thilgaia with the falling star. The guardian of the starlight, Ligudubliet. I'm pretty sure that's a mistranslation, but I don't know what it's for. Ligudubliet. Let's see if there's a reference. All of the guardians are references to something for reference. <laughs> the only thing I can find are... Um, references to Wild Arms. Yep. So I'm pretty sure that's a reference to something else that... Just making sure the audio is not correct, incorrect. That's gotta be a reference to something and I don't get the reference because mistranslation. The basis for the elemental crest magic is the binding of two elements together to generate magic. There are 32 secret elemental spells kept by the magic guild that are more powerful than the normal spells available. Told you, there's two levels. It's actually three levels, but the third level is really hard to use. It's normally impossible to cast two spells at once. The great mage D devised a method to cast two spells simultaneously. That's actually how you get to the third level, so you have to cast two, two spells at once. After many failures, the Magic Guild was able to organize the crest combinations into 32 secret spells. Some continued to take the research, uh, take the magic even further. Continued the research. This is going to be a very talky episode. The Thousand Poem Legend prophesied the coming of Angle Moa. That's a mistranslation. That one was. I'm pretty sure I have that. Uh... No, I don't have that one. The demigod Angelmoa will arrive at the promised time to destroy and recreate all. He is known as the ultimate existence. Translation on this game is not great. Capucci. That head? Head, yep. Yeah. Hooray, one more defense point! Kill it before it kills me! Evil books! Bam! Yeah, like I said, this is actually a genuinely difficult dungeon. You can totally die in here on the first battle without doing anything wrong. It is possible. I wonder if the blue books are supposed to be references to exams. Because in the United States, um, a lot of written exams are done in so-called blue books, which are really expen- oh, there's the other dance. Does a little booty wiggle. It's a random chance of her doing a booty wiggle. And I don't know if I've ever seen her do it in this outfit. She actually changes outfits part of the way through the game. Neat. Um, blue books are really expensive, tiny books. Really expensive for what they are, I should say. Um, just stay there. Uh, really expensive small books that you do freeform exams in. Kima. During the Age of Creation, one woman received a secret book from a heavenly messenger. The book contained information about the creation of the universe. It is said that it contains theories on alchemy and the ways of the heavens. I actually don't know what that's a reference to, even in-game. I should probably be wearing my glasses. And I should also make sure that I'm recording. Yes, I am. Okay. The Rings of Time Space. The Rings of Time Space contain a power that no human should ever possess. The Rings of Time Space are a seal that holds down the boundaries of time and space. 
three consists of two alignment circles. One circle designates northwest, north, southwest, southeast, and northeast. The other in designates west, south, east, and north. By the way, almost everything in this room is referenced in the game elsewhere. And major references, not just like side references. There exists a secret sect of guardianists who worship the power of the guardians. These extremists believe in a complete return to nature, as opposed to the harmonized coexistence with nature taught by the Kirin Abbey. They left the safety of the common world to develop and instill their beliefs discreetly. The cold, hard bodies of the demons are made of metal. Their metal bodies, however, have most of the same traits of a biological entity. The ancient mages of the art of alchemy studied captive demons to learn from their technology. That is how we came to create the golems. The demon race has technology that allows them to travel across time and space. They have also developed a device that utilizes this technology to instantly transport troops to a faraway location. The demon's attacks seem to use the strategy. The dead area called the Sand River was caused by a battle against the demon race a thousand years ago. The massive destructive powers drain the life from this entire area. Yeah, they're a lot more obvious in the later Wild Arms games. That was a nuke. In the realm of the Elwus, the powers of nature are used as magic. They live on the path of eternity. They have long, hairy ears, but their silhouettes are human. No one knows the reason why they left or where they have gone. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. This is the encounter that I was referring to, that you could totally just die. And there's nothing you can do about it. I remember it, Gagsons have a chance of causing Confuse. As long as you hit something before it hits you, you're fine. probably gonna need to heal after this. Luckily I increased defense a little bit, that will help. And I'm not getting uh, freeze cast on me, luckily. I think they're weak against Spark. Nope. Normal damage. Oh yeah, booty dance. Ancient human weapons. The eight golems were built by humans a thousand years ago to fight off the invasion force of the demon race. All but one still remains deep inside the ruins. A real study of these artifacts can only be done when all eight of the golems are excavated. The Guardians sometimes use their power for earthquakes and lightning, but it's, it is all part of the energy that we need to sustain life on Filgaia. Use the different elements to enhance power against the, your, uh, the opponent's elements. Using fire against ice monsters, for example, will increase the effectiveness of your attack. Duh. Oh, I should heal. I'm low on spell points, but that's fine. Okay, there's only three books. I couldn't remember how many. Oh, I should mention the difference between enemy, group, and all. So group is a grouping that's listed here. So if there are two blue books in one group, you would see blue book two there, and group attack would hit both of them. Uh, enemy is single target, and all is, well, all. Ah, uh, crap. Response rate lowered 50%, so my init drops by 50%. And so does dodge, if I remember correctly. Boo -boo 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 Bow! Ooh, I did less damage than normal that time. Interesting. 
And there's definitely still roles involved with all of this. I think that'll level me up. Yep. I need to level up so I have more spell points. Or magic points. Yep, I'm up to seven. Uh, the next battle, I'm gonna have to use a carrot or sleep. Thump. Oh, when I see a save point, I will know that I need to use an item to rest. Dimla Metallica. A magic seal prevents it from opening. That is for much later in the game. No one really knows who the Guardians are. The only place that can, one can see them is in the Legends. Uh, that's a boss. I should have had a save point first. The book monster, a human who wants to touch the forbidden book! I shall grant your wish and make you a part of my story. You're not the shadow that calls me, are you? First boss of the game. Although it could be the second boss of the game, depending on how you do this. Daughter of the way of magic, become my flesh and blood inside the forbidden book. Aw oh, yeah, boss music. And I have seven spell points. Brutal attack. Ow. It heals up to 50 MP, and unfortunately, I don't have that much. Are you weak against Spark, was it? So its normal attack is 10, Brutal attack is 15. Uh, the difference is Brutal attack will always hit, and it does more damage. Nope, you're not immune. To, I, I thought it was weak against Spark for some reason. Oh well. I don't really have much to Mystic right now, unfortunately. Isun is rubbing up against the controller. Let's see, will he come up? Yep. Let's see? He's also trying to numb the controller. Oh. Might as well continue flame because uh, I don't really do enough damage melee wise. Alright, I could take two more hits, so. And two more hits at the highest damage. I'm fine for one more attack. So, by the way, um, if your force gauge goes all the way up, which your force gauge goes up from being hit primarily and every round, uh, if it goes all the way to maximum, you hit what's called Condition Green. Condition Green removes all status effects. It's a very useful thing. So, like, for instance, when Cecilia gets hit this time, it'll probably say Condition Green. Yep. Unfortunately, I don't have any status effects on me right now anyway, so it's not really doing much. All right, I need to heal. Probably okay. Yep, I have four hit points. Oh, the sound effects. I don't have a sand, uh, analyze spell, so I don't know how many hit points it has left. I mean, I don't really have too many other options. I probably should have grabbed a different element. Oh, it's dead. Arc. It's actually possible to level up twice from that battle. This, on the other hand, was the voice. 
shadow figure from my dream. I am Stoldark, the guardian of the water. For ages, the demon Nilgal. I think that's another one of those mistranslations. A lot of the demon names are actually references to various bits of uh, mythology. Uh, I think most of the demons are Babylonian, was it? I've waited for a long time for the innocent one who would receive the guardian spirit. The innocent one? Me? Cecilia is not that innocent. The world is at a turning point of darkness again. Innocent one, can you hear the anger of the land and the wind? The screams of the sea and the sky? Wear me as your armor, innocent one. I shall protect you in your fight for life. The battle for Filgaia begins again. Everything begins with Lolitha. Lolithia. Not Lolitha. I kept doing that before, and I apologize. Anyway. Water rune. Remember when we had runes? Lolithia. Remember when we had that rune slot on equipment before? That's the reason why. There will be a lot of runes in the game to equip. Welcome back, Cecilia. Now you realize the responsibilities of the women in the Adelheid family. By the way, the Adelheid family is matrilineal. At uh, matrilineal. Female descendants of the Adelheid family share their thoughts with the Guardians. They must carry the burden of their destiny with them for the rest of their lives. No one can understand the pain and pressure which you must endure. But they can help you cope with it and make your life easier. Cecilia, there are those who can... Oh wow, that was a glitch. Burden one's destiny brings... Walk proudly from the Abbey. You must travel your own path from now on. Go! You are the innocent one the Guardians have chosen! See? Potter rune. It's... Uh, if I remember correctly, it increases by a percentage, which is the reason why it looks so crappy. I think it's 10%. But I now have Water rune, which doesn't really do much other than gives me a small buff right now. Let's go ahead and save. And also rest. Let's rest first. Oh, that's right. I can't rest anymore. The Ruin Festival in Adelheid must have a lot of news to report on. I want to go so bad! Anything about Lolitha? No. So yeah, now I just leave. The guardians from legend have spoken only to her. Without a sound, the wheels of destiny have started to turn. The path she followed in the past was, a, was guided by her surroundings. She knew someday she would have to pave her own path to the future. The innocent one, who the guardians speak of, it may be too heavy of a burden to be the sorceress of the ultimate power at such a young age. All right, so yeah, as I had mentioned before, um, and I totally forgot to actually set the timer this time, um, Jack is who I kind of wanted to be, and Cecilia is who other people saw me as. Um, and really, the entire beginning part of the game, yeah, I'm outwardly at the time, since I was 14, uh, at the time, I was a lot more like Cecilia than anybody. Outwardly. Inwardly, though, it's Rudy. Rudy's the person that I am inside. It's the person who I saw myself as. Personality-wise, I'm nowhere near as strong. Life is gradually fading from the land. 
Slowly, but surely, the destruction of Filgaia continues. A devastated environment filled with ferocious monsters plague the people of Filgaia who desperately try to cling to their land. Those who dare to venture out are called Dream Chasers. There is a boy in the village of Surf. It's hard to believe that this boy has the potential to become a Dream Chaser. What does he seek? We're calling him day, kid! Thanks a lot! The barrels are all sorted! I hired you at the recommendation of Mayor Pilfer. Piffer. You turned out to be okay. By the way, what's your name? Welcome to Rudy. The silent protagonist. Except, as you can probably tell from this game, there isn't a single protagonist. All three of the characters are the protagonists of Wild Arms, which I quite like. However, Contrail, which is the developer developing group of this game, has a tendency to have blue-haired heroes. This is the blue-haired hero of Wild Arms 1. There's also another in Wild Arms 2. Rudy is, I guess, as close as you get to a main character, but I would actually argue it's Cecilia, and I'd like to argue that more later. Rudy, you're stronger than you look. The horses seem happy. Here's today's pay. Sorry, kid, this is all the village can afford. The entire village can afford one heelberry. You should see if the mayor has any more work for you. Thanks again. See ya. All right, first thing I'm going to do, because I can, and because I want to. Is to bring everybody over to see what conversation I have. Because I haven't seen all of these. Hey, there's Cecilia. Hi, Mr. Treasure Hunter. Find anything interesting? Oops. Pill bugs. Sweet. Oh, it's dead anyway. Wrong way. That's Lolitha's gym. And yes, Lolitha is that close. Okay, so it's any button that cancels the auto battle. Good to know. Balloons will start doing zero damage soon enough. They are the weakest enemy in the game. Jack leveled up. He must have been really close because balloons are worth next to nothing in XP. Here's Surf. Because Rudy has so few lines of dialogue since he's basically a silent protagonist. Let me know if you hear of a good adventure. Interesting. Let's move silly around. I think I can also move around on the world map. No, I can't. Oops. Yeah. However, I wanted to use the hearty apple on Cecilia because she needs vitality badly. And at some point, I want to do an analysis as to how exactly everything works mechanically. Okay, so case in point, that's a group. Splat. Not running away from me, suckas! Yeah, she has the lowest vitality. Which makes sense, she's a mage. Uh, Wild Arms 3 is the one that breaks all of the... Jeez, she can't even kill a balloon in one shot. 
Uh, Wild Arms 3 is the one that um, breaks all of the stereotypes, so to speak. So this game is still has a lot of troops that it enforces, like, hey look, I'm a mage, so I'm going to be weak and have low hit points and be a glass cannon. Uh, come on. I think they're actually weak against Frost. For some reason, that's what that my memory tells me. I probably should have analysis. Maybe when, when I get to Adelheid plot-wise, or Adelheid, Adelheid, Adel. Um, when I get to there, I'll hit the Magic Guild and swap spells around a little bit. Dream Chaser is a man as free as a bird. Huh. So, Jack and Rudy talking. Oh! Hello, Mr. Dream Chaser. How are you? Wait a second. Hold on a moment. Did... Was... So they both say the same thing to each other, except Rudy says it here, whereas Jack says it in the other one. I wonder if that's actually a glitch and it's supposed to be Jack saying it on both ways. And by glitch, I mean just mistake. Anyway, Rudy has to do everything. I hear the world is coming to an end. It must be an omen! No, you are you just have to deal with climate change. And yes, every Wild Arms game has environmentalism as a major aspect of the game. Please move. Thank you. There are still holy berries in the berry cave. I wouldn't be here. My son and I were talking about this earlier. Gee, I wonder where, what your son is going to be doing. Actually, I'm curious about something. What happens if Cecilia is the one that talks to everybody? Apparently Tony's mom actually knows Cecilia? Interesting. You know, Magic, are you from the Kieran Abbey? I've never been here with Cecilia and um, this early in the game. The magician must know. Is Philgaia coming to an end? Hi, friend. If you're tired, you can rest upstairs. Would you like to rest? Yes, please. This is actually one of the few places in the game where you can perpetually rest for free. Welcome to Surf. Please relax in our humble village. Our village used to be known for our berry trade, but it's still a good place to rest. So I think we'll be doing Rudy's story. Chucked some chickens. Female dream chaser? I don't approve. Who do you think you are? Yep, sexism. Woo. How rare. Come, come. The magicians lock themselves up in their labs all day. Not this one. You're not Calamity Jane, are you? I didn't think so. Wow, reference to Calamity Jane this early in the game? I never realized that was there. Neat. Large city over the southern mountains is having a festival. It must be nice. That's Adelaide for reference. Which is where we're supposed to be at. Well, we being Cecilia and Jack. Later on, you actually get an item that allows you to talk to, uh, birds and any other animal. I must like books. Me too. Being a magician sounds really cool, but I want to be like my father and help the needy. 
Fuck yeah! Horses, horses can instinctively figure people out. You must be a nice person. They actually have some interesting things to say, by the way. Anyway, uh, I'm going to switch back over to Rudy and actually finish up this portion of plot. So that will be this video. Rudy, how are you? Thanks to you, the stables are in great shape. Take these as a token of my appreciation. Long ago, I found these bombs while exploring ancient ruins. You may find them handy. Rudy's tool are bombs. Bombs. These magical bombs will never run out. The world is fading and our village is starting to feel the impact. Bomb. You're immune to bombs, by the way. You can actually cause the game to slow down by doing things like that. You can tell that the game's currently paused while this is happening. Mayor Peeffer, a child is from our village has gone into the berry cave. What? What do we do? Let me go walk through a bunch of bombs and pace back and forth while the inside's paused and the outside isn't. The berry cave is full of monsters. There's not much we can do. I must talk to the townsfolk about the situation. Please keep this quiet. We can't have people panicking. As I detonate a bunch of things in the area. I don't have time for this, that troublesome kid. Dear, oh dear. Yeah, everybody's useless in this town. No, you're creepy. Must be an old man. Anyway, what you can do with bombs is this. Boom. Rather than picking them up. You can also explode chickens. But they don't actually die or anything. They just... They just bounce. That's all. Do I need to actually go trigger something first? Or can I go walk to the village now? So you notice Tony's the one that's gone. I already helped out with the horses. The monster kept coming back to life over and over again. As everyone began to give up, one of the bounty hunters had a brilliant idea! His idea was to plant a holy berry seed inside the monster while it was regenerating. Holy berry sprouted and sealed the monster with its magic. Nobody believes the story anymore, though. It's a fairy tale. Every fairy tale in every RPG is true. Just remember that. Tony! 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 Let's finish this because I've spent like I have 17 minutes left of the video. Anyway, monster caves right here. Or berry cave, excuse me. And now we get to see Rudy in action. Rudy does not fight like a stereotypical RPG character. Wow, I look away for a second and this kid gets past me. No one in the village is allowed here. What am I to do? As I just walk past him. No trespassing. Bats bring danger. Leave now. So Rudy doesn't have an EMP. But he has something else. He has a gun. Or is it referred to as the hand cannon? Portable cannon, single target. 
has an 85% chance of hitting, and attack power of 10. So yeah, Rudy will shoot people dead. Uh, in the remake... Wait, that balloon didn't die at 30 damage? Really? Boy, maybe I should just paraberry on Rudy right now. Actually, not a terrible idea. Um, what was I saying? Uh, in the remake, Rudy doesn't even have a dagger. He just has the gun. Yep, there's the gun right there. And rather than having MP, <clears throat> it has ammo. That has eight bullets remaining. So I can use it eight times before I have to reload. Which there's uh, bullet clips, which are an item in the game that gives you uh, that fills up ammo of one weapon. And I think plot can do it, and that's about it. I thought that was close enough. Oh well. Now I forgot to use the stupid apple. Counter attack. Oh, I forgot to mention, every time that you rest, your luck randomizes. I think it's random, at least. So Rudy's luck right now is good. I think everybody starts with good luck. Also, let's actually use the stupid power apple now. Oops. Darn it. There we go. Rudy's a melee fighter. He needs power. He's also slower than a mule. Can he kill these in one hit yet? No, they have 35 hit points, I think. Oh, on level up, he'll be able to do it. Of course, if I only fight balloons, he's never going to level up. Balloons don't give enough XP. It's giving me money. Do not destroy the sign! Okay. <laughs> Gotta love that. Oh, I miss being able to use analog sticks instead of a D-pad. I'm actually not a fan of D-pads, oddly enough. I should have auto battle enabled, now that I think about it. And now you'll actually see what I mean by it will continue on. See? No menu or anything. Oh, this one's resting on my hand. See? This is all the same days. Uh, this is probably the last video I'm doing today. But uh, how am I doing on time? Ten minutes. I'll definitely be able to finish this part. So first off... Blow that up. Second off, bull lever. So, in theory, you should be leveling up once. Make things slow and easy, so don't run. Um, you should level up once before the boss. For both Rudy and Cecilia's. There is no boss for, um... Jacks. There we go. Man, it'd be nice if I encountered something other than balloons so I can actually level up. I mean, I can still level, it just takes a lot of balloons. It's 30 XP to level. A 40 for Rudy. They have different XP trees. 
or XP charts. I didn't realize that. Ha! Huh. That makes me wonder. Holy symbol. I don't think holy symbols are equipable things. No. Yeah, it removes curse. So how are you doing today? Um, I'm thinking that updates will be every... <sighs> three days to start. Um, I'll release episode 0 and 1 on the same day, but... <clears throat> Open. Thank you. Oh, that's right. Didn't mean to make noise. Oh, hello there, Isin. Oh, yes. You are very handsome and pretty. So one of the few reasons why I was thinking about playing, there we go, um, on an emulator instead of on the actual console was to speed things up because this game runs a little slow. It's not as bad as Wild Arms 2. Wild Arms 2 runs very slow. I love them, so I'm fine. Get loot like a good adventure. There we go. Finally, have something other than balloons. Ooh, I'm actually getting hit pretty hard on these. On the plus side, I can one shot them now, so that's good. Now it seems curled up in my lap. See? So many heal berries. Heal berries are. I think that was a bombable wall up here, was it? It was. Ooh! Tatzel Belm. Tatzel Belm. So yeah, I one-shot balloons now, which is important. I don't think I one-shot Tetzel Bums. Nope. And this is unfortunate. I'm gonna have to heal. Kitty cat. And they also don't get very much in the way of XP. Well, I have tons of holy or heal berries, not holy berries. Holy berries are what I'm after. It's just loot. Yeah. Power apple, agile apple, hardy apple. Bullet clip and save point. Hint, hint. Yes. I think I can make the boss first. Technically, by my own rules, I should be stopping now, but well, I have decided against it. So, neener, neener, neener. 
Look, I've come to look for berries for my father. The berries are on the other side of this blocked passage. Bomb. Boom. Check it out! You've cleared the path! I have to get back. My father's waiting for these berries back home. Bandana. Heck yeah. Gives me one more defense point. Aw, yes! The berries faintly glitter. Hey look, I have a holy berry! Nothing bad can possibly happen as a result of this. Thank you. With these berries, I can heal my father. Let's hurry. I have to get him. Get them to him right away. Nothing bad is going to happen at all. Nothing bad at all. Nope. This is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong here. Okay. I'll move back to me. Oh, no, you didn't need to move it soon. Earthquake! Why is the earthquake being felt all the way down in uh, the Abbey, Kieran Abbey? Mom! Why do you always cause so much trouble? You can get these berries to heal father's wounds. Are you two okay? What was that earthquake all about? I always told you not to come here. You're safe. That's all that matters. Let's go home. Arf! Arf! Remember that story? This is the creature that the berries were containing. It's a zombie. Okay, so something that I've always wanted to know is what happens if you don't use your gun? That's gonna cause poison, isn't it? Nope. I don't think it's possible to beat this without your gun. By the way, I forgot to mention, his force ability is arm lock-on, which gives his arm a 100% chance of hitting. Uh, arm being gun, in this case. Uh, let's see. Let me look up really fast. I don't think anything special happens. One way or the other. Yeah, I can't find anything. But you know what? I'm willing to give it a shot. I was hoping we get attacked first. It probably means that the combat's going to last quite a bit longer, unfortunately, but... to trigger it, because I'm going to get Rotten Breathed, and then I'll be down low on hit points. Isun's playing with me. Uh, let's see. How many hit points does this thing have? 800. That's a lot of hit points for this early on in the game, isn't it? I mean, I can take it. Mostly because of the order that I did things in.
Yeah, I'm doing 30 damage a shot, so that's gonna be minimum 20 rounds. That's assuming a lot of counterattacks, too. Nice grits, though. That'll up. I'm assuming the game assumes that you use a gun, because plot-wise it's assuming... Er, the next step plot-wise assumes that you're using a gun. Yeah, I better actually use an item. Because it can go again, because it's about the same speed as Rudy. I've seen it go twice in a row. Technically, I can take two hits. That's the reason why I'm okay with that. Uh, maybe I can only take one. Manual. So I don't want to lose. That would suck. I really don't know if the game will change because I didn't use a gun. I doubt it will. I'm just trying to conserve ammo. I know this is very exciting for people to watch. Oh, I could take one more. Oh, it's dead. 100 XP. Three leveled up. 200 money. Keep in mind, did not use my gun at all. In theory, it shouldn't be visible. Rudy cast the Holy Berry at the regenerating zombie. The healing light from the Holy Berry reduces the zombie to sludge. Clark. Wow, you've defeated the zombie. Oh, what happened, Mom? You have brought tragedy upon to the entire village of Surf. I know about you. You possess the arm, the forbidden power. Again, I never actually showed my weapon. It's doing as I thought. I know I shouldn't have, but I looked through your stuff the other day. I told you, these people are terrible humans. The dream chaser Rudy has cursed us all. That earthquake was probably caused by Rudy. Be quiet, everyone. Rudy, thanks for saving the boy, but you opened up the forbidden path and put all of us in danger. You also possess an arm. You'll be judged according, according to our village law. Do you agree? No, screw you. Sorry. Even though you're a dream chaser, you have violated our law. We must judge you. We have no choice. Rudy, please come with us. I believe this is a but thou must situation. Yeah, it is. Rudy will be judged there. The boy brought a terrible omen to the village. We must do something. He's just a dream chaser. He may sound cruel, but he may bring harm upon us all. When the seal was broken, he caused an earthquake that damaged the entire village. There's where the others are. We all agree then. I'll ask him to leave. I took him in, so I'll inform him of our decision. You are literally exiled from the place that you were adopted as home. All because you have a gun, and I didn't even use it. These people are terrible people. And yeah, this is where a lot... I mean, 
This is where I started identifying that there may be something wrong with me mentally. Are you dropping Ruby? Then you know what we've decided. I must ask you to pack your things and leave, and please don't come back. For my husband that you committed a crime, please don't visit me. I knew it. You can't trust strangers. You've desecrated the way of our life we hold so dear. What way of life? You're a bunch of farmers! Don't blame us. You've caused this mess. You take the response. What mess? I did not cause the earthquake. It's all my fault, not yours. Sorry, but we have to protect our children. From what? Yeah, Tony's family, oh, not his mom, but Tony and Tony's dad are the two nice people in this village. Well, that and all the chickens and cows, they're nice. I love to talk to you. You're leaving because of that? Yeah, it sucks. It's almost as though your townsfolk are terrible people. By the way, they stay terrible the entire game. Can't sell to people who break the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. What happens if I switch characters at this point? Uh, how long have I been recording for? It's been about an hour, right? Yep. Hour and six minutes. All because I decided to take the long route on the boss just to see if there was any change. Dream chasers are not welcome in this village. Yep, free healing's gone. Like as though I left the village. Interesting. But will you say that to the princess? Yes, you will. Interesting. I hate this place so much. Actually, what's Tony say? I made a criminal out of a good friend. I've done a terrible thing to the man who saved my child. She even realizes what she did. Couldn't even save my own son. Also, let me through, please. Thank you. Alright, let's finish up this level of plot, and then I will save and exit. Dream chasers are not welcome here. You saved me! I was so helpless! I know that you did the right thing and that they're wrong. Just wanted to say thank you. Gotta get back. Thanks again. I seem to remember Rudy is also 17. Even though he used this skill pr to protect him, they still rejected him out of fear. Within him is a power he never asked for. The skill to use... The Forbidden Arms. He still wanders the world in search of his soul, unaware of his inborn power. Oh, I should have switched one of the other characters now I think about it. Alright. Yep, there's a shop here now. Because I got kicked out of Surf Village, so I wanted to make sure that I could at least buy healing items.
bum 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 Oh yeah, I wanted to show you what the actual arm ability looks like because I did not do that. I also didn't show you what Psycho Crack looked like, but uh, balloon. Boom. And I missed. Him. My chance of hitting has nothing to do with their defense, by the way. It's just a flat percentile roll. I'm being dealt one by the balloon. Soon it will drop to zero. Rudy has the highest defense in the game. Yeah, Rudy, maybe people wouldn't notice your arm so much if you didn't pose with it every time that you finished a combat. Adelaide. Holy cow, there's been an accident! Lolith is tomb! Let's find Emma! This is out of our hands! No, you're both wrong. The injured are our first concern. Alright, and we're going to stop here. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm going to stop recording for the day. And, yeah. I've actually played this on flute before. I love the music of this game. Bye, Internet.